All right, guys, last week I was out in LA. It was in the 70s and I was on a beach in bare feet. I'm back in Canton here. It's in the 20s, it's snowing again. And we are right back at the awesome family video because it is Saturday night. Family video on Easton in North Canton here. We're gonna go on in and look for the video that we couldn't find at the one in Maslin a couple weeks ago. And we are getting an early start today because we might have to go to a couple of places to get this thing. But hopefully they will just have it here. Okay, where would they have it? Wait a minute. Holy crap, it's Chucky. <laughs> Okay, definitely not a new release, but it is like the 35th anniversary of this movie. So I'm thinking that it'll be over here in either Family Fun or Favorites. And if you remember, when we were looking for it last time, I said it starts with a P. Here's our P's. Where is... Okay, not there. Okay, Favorites. L M. NOP. Uh, what the heck, man? Oh my gosh, guys, here it is. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That is totally our movie for the night. And it is in. I'm so excited. Good morning. I'm here. You're the best bike in the whole world. I wouldn't sell my bike for all the money in the world. Not for a hundred billion million trillion dollars. We're losing valuable time. Set up a dragnet, call the whole area. Can you think of anyone who might have wanted to take it? Everyone wanted my bike. This morning, right before it got stolen, Francis offered... Francis! Francis, scream your head off! We're miles from where anyone can hear you! <laughs> ah! Good. We can finally start the big meeting. I bought this pen one hour before my bike was stolen. Why? What's the significance? I don't know. Where is it? Can you see it? Where is it? Somewhere far away. But where? The Alamo. In the basement. When I was a kid, I used to watch Pee Wee's Playhouse constantly. I mean, every, I think it was on Saturday mornings, and I, I've seen every single episode of that. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, I was watching all of them on uh, Netflix, just totally binging on Pee Wee. Well, that actually went pretty quick this time. <laughs> we got three movies here, and uh, I don't see anything else I want. We got a bunch of other places we need to go, so. Let's just hit the road and uh, keep this moving under the dome. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Look at how they have the uh, the Stranger Things thing set up like a VHS. That's pretty sweet, but it's a DVD box. Okay, so we're going to head over to, I think, uh, Michael's or maybe Joanne Fabrics. I'm not sure. We'll get over here and see. Um... But I have an idea for this t-shirt that requires different letters than what I have at home. So we're going to go over here to find the letters. Then we're going to have to bounce over to Walmart to get the shirt. And I think we need a few things at Walmart for our snack tonight too. Okay, so Joanne Fabrics it is because that's the direction we ended up driving. Which works out perfectly fine because I am pretty sure they have what I want. Whenever I come into these craft stores, I always get lost looking at stuff, because like, look, I mean, just all this stuff here, they got all this lettering and everything, and all my creative juices start flowing for what I could do. <laughs> I mean, like, if you were having people over for a movie night, 
There's all kinds of uh, adhesive letters here that you could use to make posters and stuff and invites and just all kinds of stuff. Okay, before we get off track here though, let's find what we're here for, which is letters for t-shirts and I believe it is over in this direction somewhere. Yeah, here's t-shirts. Okay guys, yeah, so in here, they have so much stuff that you could use to make t-shirts. Like this is all um, different kinds of uh, fabric markers and paints and stuff like this. Look at this, they even have a tie-dye flap bag. Oh my God. Tie-dye kits here with uh, different colors and stuff. Look, they have onesies if you wanted to uh, to decorate little babies outfits and stuff, you know, for your movie nights. And then here is all the stuff where you can do your, your transfers and here's letters and stuff. Look, they even have these individual ones. I believe these are iron-ons, but they're like a big embroidered letter. Those are really nice. But this is more of what I'm looking for down here right now, like these big letters right here. These are white, because I think I want to do these on a black shirt this time. And these are like the same style as the smaller ones there that we were getting at Walmart. But they're just about three times the size. And they have several different shapes and sizes. This is more of like the school stuff, you know. But yeah, I think I like these right here. And I want to do a black shirt, so we're going to get the white ones. All right, wait a minute. i got to rethink this, because here's the problem. These are the letters I want, but these are 14 bucks a pack. And they don't have enough letters for what I want to spell. I don't want to pay $30 just to spell something on a t-shirt. So now what I'm up against is how do I keep the same style idea that I want for the t-shirt and do it in a cheaper way. I, just, I don't want to have 50 bucks wrapped up in a stupid t-shirt. These are all their big letter packs here. And not one of them has all the letters we need. We got the individual letters over here, but they're two bucks a piece. However, hiding down here, I see individual letters for clearance of 50 cents each. So let me see if I can find what I need here. Nope, not enough letters down there in those to spell what we want. So now we are back to the Strong Bond Cricut paper where I have to draw and cut out my own letters or we can always go with the uh, the iron-on stuff. In fact, here is transfer sheets. Five sheets for dark fabrics, 10 bucks. That'll cover it right there. Not really the way I wanted to go, but it'll work. Okay guys, stop number three here. And this is kind of gonna determine which way we go with the snack. We're going into Aldi's. Because I've heard that they have these, uh, like these cheese wraps. They're supposed to be like low-carb cheese wraps that are basically like tortilla wraps, only they are just made of cheese. And I have no clue where I'd find them. I mean, probably in the cold stuff, but you never know. Sometimes these things don't need to be refrigerated. Here's some wraps, but that's not what I want. Okay, so here is cheese, but I don't see cheese wraps. See, this is why it takes all day to prepare for an awesome snack and a movie night, because you're always looking around for something tasty. Look at this, perfect, perfect bar. I bet you it tastes like a peanut. <laughs> Fun to Walmart it is. Let's go get our shirt first, and then we'll get our snacky poos if I can get through here without knocking into everything. <laughs> oh good, it looks like they got restocked on all their t-shirts here too. Alright, and we just need a couple of things here for our snack, but while I am in the, uh, the cereal aisle here, let me tell you about this. One thing we used to do when my kids were little, easiest snack you can make hot buttered O's. And these are really cool because they're shaped like hearts, but you just take regular cherry O's, heat them up in the microwave and melt butter on them. They are delicious. Oh my God, guys, look. Blueberry cherry O's. Holy crap. I wish I wouldn't have seen those. They look like little blueberry donuts. Okay, so heavy whipping cream. 
cream cheese, diced green chilies. Okay, tomato sauce. Hamburglar. Okay, that does it. I think I have everything else I need at home. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I've had some trouble tonight with my computer back here. For some reason, I can't get my monitors to link up to my computer. So I'm using my laptop here. We've got our prints here, and I've gone to this website, this Jolie's, whatever you call it here, and I just chose a picture offline of Pee Wee, and uh, we are going to print it off onto one of these transfers and hopefully just transfer it to the shirt. That's not too shabby. Resolution could have been a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Okay, guys, we're going to try to get this going here. For some reason, I'm just having so much trouble with my computer right now. But I got some things printed out. We're going to get this shirt made. I got a whole handful of things here. So let's get these positioned, iron them on, and see if we can save this shirt. Okay, well it's not the greatest creation ever, but there's our shirt. We got our red bow tie, large Marge sent me, and Pee Wee on his bike. So there it is, let me get changed real quick and then we're gonna make an awesome, tasty, delicious snack because I am so hungry and so ready to kick back and watch a movie. Large Marge! <laughs> Probably just a dog. Not for a million, billion, trillion dollars. Okay, guys, so tonight we're going to make something that I have not yet tried myself. This is a new recipe for a low-carb taco bake. It looks so good, and actually the recipe I found online, um, I'll have to put the person's name in the link below. Um, this is from like four or five years ago, I think, but it looks absolutely delicious. So what we're going to need here is eight ounces of cream cheese, four eggs. We stick that in the blender, blend that up. Then we need two thirds cup of heavy cream, a little bit of taco seasoning, and this is my own uh, homemade taco seasoning. I got this recipe from somebody else and I honestly don't remember who it is or else I would link that below too. But that is the first thing we need to do right there is mix up all that stuff. So let's get busy right here. Look at that. That is going to be so delicious. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. Take two. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Okay, anyways, look at how tasty and delicious that looks. Holy crap. It smells good. It's in so many different layers, so it's kind of falling apart. I got a little cup of uh, sour cream here we're going to put with it. That way we can kind of drizzle that on there. That was too dang funny, Ed. Okay, guys, let's have a little taste of this before I dump it over, too. Hey, it smells so good. I bet I'm going to burn my mouth. Get a little dip of the 
sour cream there. Really, I wish I had some, uh, some lettuce and tomatoes to put with this, but I just don't. I should have thought of that while I was out. Mmm. That is so good. That's the thing, guys. You know, these even these low-carb recipes are so delicious. But remember, those layers of ma are made of cheese and eggs, cream cheese, uh, all that hamburger with the chilies and the, and the uh, onions in there, and then more cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. That bite was even better than the last one. All right, guys. I'm going to put in a movie, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I'm so excited to watch this thing. I love this movie so much. Make sure you subscribe. Come back every Saturday for more, and I will see you guys next week.